Hey there, good morning everyone. Thursday the 9th of February 2023. This morning's devotional is a reading from Proverbs chapter 23 verse 7a which is the first portion of that verse. It reads, for as he thinks in his heart, so he is. How many thoughts go through your mind each day? A study found that the average person has, been, has between 12 and 60,000 thoughts a day. Of those thoughts, 80% were negative, and 95% were exactly the same repetitive thoughts as the day before. Have you ever stopped to think about where your thoughts are taking you? If you're not controlling them, they are controlling you. You may be surprised at what you're thinking and the lies that you're believing. Paul points out two important truths in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5, where he writes, We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God, and we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. That word captive is important. And so just as a prisoner of war is captured, so too we are admonished to capture every bad thought, every evil thought, every negative thought that seeks to control us. The battle for your life is lost or won in your mind. Your thoughts will control you, so you have to control your thoughts. Romans chapter 8 verses 5 and 6 remind us, those who live according to the sinful nature have their mind set on what that nature desires. But those who live in accordance with the Spirit have their mind set on what the Spirit desires. The mind of sinful man is death, but the mind controlled by the Spirit is life and peace. And then Romans chapter 12 verse 2 takes us a step further when it says, Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Wow! Our actions are a di direct result of our thoughts. If we have a negative mind, we will have a negative life. If, on the other hand, we renew our thoughts, we will experience a life change. So many problems are rooted in thinking patterns that actually produce the problems we experience. We have one of two choices to make. We can either continue accepting the lies that are fed into our mind by the devil who offers wrong thinking to everyone who will willingly accept them, or we can learn what thinking is acceptable to the Holy Spirit. Those two choices, either you believe the lies or you believe the truth as found in the Gospels. It is a mission in itself and I would encourage you never to give up. And this is very, very hard. Little by little, you can change your thinking and the more you change your thinking for the better, the more your life will change for the better. My dear friends, the battlefield is in the mind. Joan of Arc is known as the heroine of France for her role in leading the siege of Orleans during the Hundred Years' War. And she said, all battles are first won or lost in the mind. How true that is. May the Lord be with you. May he bless you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and be with you always. Goodbye.